Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andy and in this video I'm going to show you how I set the lighting and I'm also going to talk about modeling a bit, but this setup is fairly simple. So as you can see here, uh, this is the actual perfume I made out of a simple default cube, I believe. And here is a cap made out of simple cylinder and same here, as you can see. <laughs> I was kind of lazy to fix this uh, UV unwrapping tool because uh, first I put the seam and then I added uh, bevels on this on this edge as you can see here and actually I had to remove it and add a new seam but anyway from such distance you won't see any any issues so uh, those are just simple cubes with some bevels as you can see And also I made that golden arc out of, uh, as I can see it was a plane, but I'm not actually sure. Yeah, probably it was a plane. I just added uh, probably a solidify modifier to it to make actually thickness and then extrude it and added the mirror modifier and that's basically it. And here you see a couple of planes, uh, let me switch to the material preview mode yeah and actually all those objects uh, these uh, kind of cubes and the background and this plane they all have uh, the same material let me switch to shading tab and you will see it's actually um, procedural material some sort of uh, marble or whatever it is by the way, from the distance, it kind of looks mm, kind of fake, but out of camera, it's relatively good. And I knew that the background will be kind of blurry, as you can see, uh, and it doesn't make much sense to tweak it to, to perfection. <laughs> I mean, for, for the background and those cubes, kind of, I just slightly changed the position of each. Uh, Oh, the texture for each cube, I mean, and that's pretty much it. And here is the simple uh, kind of gold material with some uh, bump on the on the model, as you can see here, right? And again, from such distance, uh, all those tiny details are not really visible. And also, if I'm gonna back to layout and choose my camera and as you can see here I choose the 0.5 f-stop meaning that background looks really blurry and uh, basically the bottle itself only in focus and those cubes and front part of the arc so uh, so let me show you lighting setup so i'm gonna turn it on one by one so here's the let's switch to camera view the first light i used to i i i put it in front of in front of the arc as you can see here i put it to highlight the actual arc and then another one to highlight this part the next one and this one to create uh, some sort of rim light on the upper part of the arc on the left as you can see here one more to highlight the inner part of the arc as you can see let me switch it off and on here it is and one more light source uh, to create some sort of rim light on the cap and on the perfume bottle jar whatever it is on the left side as you can see here so it looks pretty complicated but in reality it's not i also combined a few shots in photoshop because i also put uh, a spotlight on the top and i i also added uh, one more light source for the background to make kind of nice uh, nice spot on it it's really common technique in photography to kind of to, to separate your object, you know. 
but I believe I believe I already deleted those slides from this scene, maybe a heavy copy. Anyway, I'm gonna show you uh, how I combined a few. So let's jump into Photoshop and uh, I'm gonna show you how I did post-production uh, for that for that image. Basically, I created a bunch of different uh, images in Blender uh, with various lighting setup. I just, for example, this one, I just put the area light uh, I'm sorry, spotlight about the, the perfume to make this kind of nice light distribution on the on the surface and also for the for the perfume as well. As you can see, no, uh, the image is pretty noisy, so I've used the denoise node in compositing tab, and and as you can see, the difference is tremendous. Here's without the node, and here's with it. Pretty cool. So uh, basically, yes, this is my uh, the layer I started to work with. So after that, there is uh, another shot, as you can see here. I highlighted the arc the way you see it, and uh, I put a mask to make sure that I affect only this arc. So here it is, and also I adjusted the contrast of this arc as well. So after that, I created, I blend in another exposure for the perfume. As you can see, here's the mask, pretty simple. And here's the image without the mask. Basically, this is just an, an area light in front of the perfume. And that's it. I just, I wanted to create some sort of uh, light gradient from the top right corner uh, to the down part of the, of the of the perfume. One more curve adjustment layer to make the the whole image darker, except except the arc, of course, as you can see here. And one more to make the background even more darker in this front part. And as you can see, we still see some details in the shadows, and that's great. While you work with CG. You can extract so much info out of it. So, and after that, I added some uh, leaves around or whatever it is. Here are they without any um, adjustments. Let me see. There's a bunch of flares, and uh, yeah, I just here it is. I just put the curse adjustment layer. To make them slightly darker, it looks like this, the curve itself, and same for the right part. Also added, I, I made the this part of the leaves kind of brighter, as you can see, and also added some vignette at the end, here's before and after, and also increased slightly saturation of the perfume and those scoops underneath it. And that's pretty much it. So not not really much things going on here, but the difference is kind of drastical, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So see you soon.